What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. It is so nice to have you here. Today on the table in front of us is the Tuya Thorax. Uh, yeah, that's a strange name, but that's all right. Tuya makes really, really good knives. They're an OEM company that also makes their own brand. Uh, this is not a new model. It's one of the first ones they released. This one's a little special, however, and we'll get to that before we get into the rest of the knife. So I got this used, and it showed up, as sometimes happens on the secondary market, a little more beat up than I was expecting. So it kind of sat. Well, I have a friend whose Instagram handle is Microphone the Knife. Uh, I have mentioned him before. Uh, Chad does modding. He does anno, and he does acid washing, and he does all sorts of cool stuff. And so I sent this to him, and he sent it back not just repaired, but a knife that now I love to carry. And let's talk about why. The first thing he did was dark acid wash the blade. And it is absolutely beautiful. Now, it had some scratches on it before. Those are all completely either obscured or gone. He put a really nice edge on it for me. And so I think that's just gorgeous. I really love that work. He bead blasted and gave the titanium here a little bit of a rough polish. Uh, got rid of the scratches and gave it a really nice kind of working tech, like working finish. It's really, really cool. But of course, the party piece to this is the lightning strike anno he did on the clip and on the backspacer. Man, he did great work. Now, the action was always very good. Uh, Tuyas have good action, and this one is no exception. Uh, I really like this knife. I liked it when I got it, but it was so beat up I didn't want to carry it. And now I love carrying it. There is one thing that gets in the way of my passion for carrying this knife, and let's get that out of the way now. For some reason, and I'm not 100% sure why, Tuya decided to give it a pocket clip that ends with almost an inch of knife sticking out the back. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why. But uh, hey, it's a good excuse to look at that lightning strike anno on that pocket clip again, though, yeah? God, that is gorgeous. So that's not my favorite thing, but everything else about this knife is a really good carry. It's got a reasonably sized flipper, as you can see, that of course deploys the knife just without fail. It's not super heavy, although uh, it is milled on the inside and still manages to have a nice weight in my hand. The handle itself is that sort of rectangle that I've talked about many times. It is very comfortable for me. It doesn't have a, it has a sharpening choil. It doesn't have a finger choil so much, but the way that they shaped that flipper right here, if you're careful for certain work, and I do do this, you can get your finger forward on that and use that to sort of pull and push at the same time, which makes this a very good cutter. The edge that my buddy put on this thing takes what was sort of a thick behind the edge knife and makes it a real slicer. Chad did a really nice job there. These are about 170 bucks. It is S35VN. It is running on ceramic bearings. It is all titanium, including the backspacer and pocket clip, as you can tell from the anno work. It is a well-made knife. Now, again, I mentioned this. Tuya does OEM work. They build knives for other people, and they did that for a long, long time. When they decided to get into the work for themselves, they already had the tools, techniques, and style to produce excellent knives, and they do. Uh, Tuya's got a relatively nice website run by Dave Warren here in the States. He is their American contact. Not only is he a super nice guy, but he's really passionate about this. So if you have questions or are interested in these knives and you hit the tuyanife.us website, he'll answer those questions. He really will. Uh, it is a good company, particularly with him on board as their U.S. contact. These are made in China, of course, but information is available about them right here from the States, uh, which is super cool. Let's knock some stats out of the way while we've got it up here. You get one, two, three and a half inches of cutting area on this S35VN blade. The overall blade is about three and three quarters inches long. The knife is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half, a little over a half inches long. The grip area, which is really generous and really very nice, particularly because of the shape of the handle, is one, two, three, four inches of grip, which is awesome. It has a little bit of jumping here at the base of the blade, which doesn't honestly do that much. But the way that this thing is shaped, particularly with the, the uh, flipper right here, your hand's not going anywhere anyway. I get no rock in my hand when I'm holding onto this thing at all. It came with no blade rock and no blade play, even though this is a secondhand knife. 
that part of the knife was in excellent condition and remains that way to this day. The lock bar on the lock side is really nicely accessible. Now, I probably would have liked a little jimping right here, but that's just me. But it just works every time. And the action and detent on this thing are very, very good. This is, in any regard, and particularly at 170 bucks, an excellent titanium and S35VN knife. And they're still available on the Tuya website. Even though Tuya has begun to make new and more interesting designs, this is still out there. If you're looking for a great knife that is a good worker in these materials, the Tuya Thorax is not a bad choice. I'm really happy that I have one. Let's knock some size comparisons out of the way so you get a better idea of what we're talking about. Let's put it up against the Griptilian, or in this case, the Ritter Hogue. This is the full size. As you can see, it is a larger knife than the uh, full size Grip, or in this case, the Ritter Hogue, as I said. We'll do it up against our old friend, the Rat Model 2, just for giggles, even though we can tell immediately if we line the pivots up, clearly. <laughs> Tuya is a much bigger knife, but here's the thing. It's not an enormous knife. It's just a really well-sized knife. Comfortable in hand, easy to use, and even with this sort of poor decision on where to put the pocket clip, and again, you guys know I really prefer deep carry, um, when it's in the pocket, it's really not that obtrusive, and it slides in and out of the pocket exceptionally well. The clip has got great ramp, great spring, and good distance space underneath it for even nice thick jeans. It does have a lanyard hole built into the pocket clip if lanyards are your thing. And there's jimping on the clip, which, I mean, on the, on the backspacer, which really doesn't do very much, but it is a nice aesthetic. And again, the lightning strike anno that Chad did on this is so good. <laughs> The pivot uses a standard flathead, which is an interesting choice. Man, lighting is just such a challenge. As opposed to the, I believe these are T8s on the rest of the knife. But it does mean that you can adjust the pivot if it were to come loose with even just a penny or a nickel in your pocket, which is a very nice touch. The blade stock on this is not super thick, although it is thick enough to feel good in your hand. Let's go ahead and put that where it needs to be. There we go. At the thickest point back here, you're just yeah, 3.78 millimeters, just under four millimeters, which is a nice thickness. The handle itself is 13 or just over a half inch, which is a good grip. Feels good in the hand for sure. I don't have my scale handy, so we're not going to be weighing this thing today. But I can tell you, again, it is milled, but it's a decent weight. It's um, very similar to the Ritter Hogue here, which is a nice, well, it's just a really good weight in hand. So the Tuya Thorax comes in at about the same weight, at least to my really rough scale, which is just my hands here. But I love this thing. I love what Microphone the Knife has done to it. I loved it before that, but it was really beat up. So there's two things going on here that I want to share. First, if you've got a knife that has seen better days, there are people out there that are doing remarkable modification work, right down to things like acid washing the blades, stone, restone washing, and then bead blasting the, uh, the titanium, doing stuff like this anno. You can bring an old knife back to life really, really beautifully if you put it in the right hands. And the other thing is that if you're looking for a great mid-priced titanium and S35VN steel blade knife, the Tuya Thorax is a great direction to go. It's got these little ramps back here, these milled out spots, so that when your thumb, your finger, excuse me, drops off the, uh, off the flipper, it's got a place to land, which is very nice. Everything, of course, is softened. There are no sharp edges on this thing. The scales are milled so you get good grip, which is nice. This is a knife that I did not give enough attention to when I got it. And I didn't because, as I said, it was beat up. But now it is something special and it has brought me back to it as just a knife in general. So I can say with sincerity, if you are looking for a good mid-price, high-quality materials knife made by a good company with a good American contact point, the Tuya Thorax is a great way to go. 
We're going to go ahead and stop it there. Thank you so much for watching. It's absolutely been my pleasure to have you here today. Uh, if you have any questions about the thorax or any of the knives you've seen on the table, feel free to ask down in the comments. Please like the video down there and the little thumbs up on your way out. It does help the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. We'll see you next time.